select the menu item options, set PG PC interface. Select the MPI adapter, change the properties, and build the local connection to your computer. Select the transmission rate set on the PC adapter. Confirm with OK. OK your local connection and OK your configuration settings. This builds the path for your online connections. To test it, select accessible nodes. This builds a connection to your PLC. Select the Accessible Nodes icon from the toolbar. This builds an online directory of CPUs that are available. Select your CPU of choice, right mouse click, and examine PLC module information. Then select the Diagnostics Buffer tab. This builds a directory of all faults that may have stopped the controller with their time and date stamp. The detail view is shown below. If it happens to be a programming error, Selecting Open Block will open the block and actually navigate to the instruction or network where the fault occurred. Open your station and program to the blocks folder. Use insert S7 block variable table. Name your variable table using a symbol name and OK. Then double click your variable table to access the monitor modify variables tool. Type in your addresses, click to select your formats, and notice that the symbol names from your global symbol table are installed. Make an online connection then turn on the eyeglasses or monitor to monitor the variable status. If your PLC is in run mode, you will now see the status values changing using whatever representation you chose in the display field. Each one of these options in the toolbar are also represented under the PLC variable menus. Open your station and your program to the blocks folder. Double click on your variable table. Type in the value you wish to change your variable to in the modify value field. Connect to the PLC. Turn on the eyeglasses to monitor the action and then control your action using the modify variable icon. To force, select variable display forced values type in the address you wish to control in the address field, type in the value you wish to force your value to in the force value field, then variable force. Acknowledge the warning and confirmation with yes. Your value is now controlled and forced and overriding any program activity. You can then go variable stop forcing which returns the variable to the program control. To upload a station, select your project, then using the menu PLC 
Upload Station. Direct to your connection and OK. This uploads the entire station, its hardware configuration, and all the contents in its program folder. As you see in the blocks folder, you now have the system data, which is the hardware configuration, plus all code blocks. Select Insert Program, S7 Program. This builds an S7 Program folder for you. Name it as you choose, in this case my upload folder. Then make an online connection. The choice this time is Accessible Nodes. Then using standard Windows Arrange, arrange horizontally for this example. By opening the MPI Connection Blocks folder, you are reading an online directory of everything in that controller. Then using standard Windows mark drag and drop techniques, you can choose whatever blocks you want to upload and place in your offline folder. To compare programs, first open your program folder to the Blocks area. Select Options, Compare Blocks. OK your selection. The default is online to offline. If there are differences, they will be highlighted. Details gives you more information about the respective differences. And Go To will open up both blocks, online, offline, and show you the line of code where there has been a change. In this example, an input was missing. You can choose to make the change to upgrade as you choose from online to offline or offline to online. If you then go back and check the detailed differences, you will find there are no differences. Select Accessible Nodes icon in the toolbar. This builds a directory of all online connections. Then select PLC, Operating Mode, and stop the controller. It is not wise to try to clear your program while it is trying to execute. Then select PLC, Clear Reset. A warning is given. Answer yes if you wish to continue and clear the entire PLC.